Hey everyone, welcome back to The Dev Show. Today, I'm excited to bring you an interview with an actor from NBC's Good Girls. Today, I'm being joined by Isaiah Stannard, and we've got a lot to talk about, so stick around. asking the same question to everybody uh, over the past year and it is because everybody has a different story of how 2020 kind of unfolded what's your story um well when quarantine started I went home immediately because I didn't want to get stuck in California and um I wasn't in the city so it was pretty chill and like I could walk around without worrying about people and School was super weird at first, but nothing like exciting or dramatic. Just like no, right? That's pretty much how everybody's here. Right? <laughs> yeah. So you're widely known for the NBC original show, Good Girls. How did you go about getting that gig? Can you take us back to that time? Um, well, it's kind of a long story. The role was like something else at first. And then my agent reached out and was like, hey you know, like maybe Isaiah could be good for this. And I auditioned and then it was like a really long time before I heard anything. And it was really strange. I didn't have a callback. I just got it and went to film the pilot. It, it was really weird. It's so long ago. Like I can't even remember. Yeah, eh? but, yeah. Would you consider acting your dream job? Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the entire rest of my life, but I hey, really love me acting. <laughs> I love acting and I love working on set. So let's just see where it goes, you know? So let's say you, you do continue to act. If you had any one co-star that you could choose anybody, living or not living, who would you want to co-star with? That's a hard question. I know. I, I don't know. I I feel like the instinct would be to like choose someone that you're like, obsessed with and but I wouldn't want to be like awkward and starstruck or something oh, yeah. like when I'm working with someone so I don't know I really love Lin-Manuel Miranda <laughs> and but I don't know that's a good question I, I love working with May she's a good co-star absolutely I mean it's kind of nice to have somebody around my age on the show I'm 17 I, I believe you're 16 right yeah I'm 16 so I have not interviewed anybody my age on the show yet. So you're kind of the first. And my show targets a younger demographic of dreamers and actors, singers, basically anybody with a big dream and they, they want to chase that dream. Is there anything that you wish you would have known before going into the acting industry? I guess there's, there's nothing that like I wish someone would have told me. I guess what I didn't really like anticipate was just like how strange it is to like move to a different like side of the country and work. But um, yeah, no, I think it, it was like strange and new and surprising, but like it was like really awesome. And I don't think there's anything that I like wish I would have known or like that I messed up, you know? <laughs> right, right. Um, so the the cast of Good Girls that you, you can tell really on screen and off, I see all the Instagram posts and everything. So the relationship seems very genuine on and off screen. Have those relationships helped shape you as an actor? Yeah, I, um, I of course love working with May, um, but also just like talking to her and hanging out with her. She helps me a lot with just like dealing with things as like a child actor or things on set that like I didn't understand or like whenever I needed help, she was like really nice to talk to because she understands she started working when she was really young and I really appreciated that. And also she's just like a great friend and yeah. Do, do you recall, can you recall the first person that you met that you were co-starring with? Was it May? I think the first person I met was Lydia, actually, because okay. we had school together and um, she was at like the height of her Harry Potter obsession at the moment. 
And I am also very obsessed with Harry Potter. So like we bonded over that really fast and we started talking about like different like theories and stuff and like symbolism of like the, yeah, anyway, we just, we so, talked a lot and yeah. I remember talking to her for like hours about Harry Potter. So you went to school, was this before or was this like the schooling that you have to do while you're on set? It was the school I have to do on set. Um, we were filming the pilot and we were in like a, a school room together and they have a teacher and uh, the kids are normally like in the same room to do work and stuff. Yeah, for sure. Um, so, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to go back to, can you take us back? I, I do that a lot, but do you remember your first day on set? I kind of remember <laughs> it vaguely. It feels like a long time ago. I, I don't remember like if I was super nervous or not. I don't think I was nervous because I actually only had one line in the first scene I did, which was nice. So I wasn't worried about that. And I don't know, it was just like really, really exciting to be there. And there were like so many like weird things going on. And then they would like turn the camera around. So now there was like a wall that was gone behind me or something like that. And it was just like, it was really cool. It was, it was a fun day. I remember like, it was just like, it was also crazy, you know, but I, I, I can't remember all that well. Yeah, there's it's like, kind of a, like it's a rush on set and you get, you know, you just kind of, everything's yeah. moving so quickly. Yeah. There's so much going on, just like stepping onto the stage and like seeing so much happening. It's just such like an exciting energy. It's yeah. I, I know I did, um, I did a TV show called paranormal survivor and it was based in California, but we shot it in Hamilton, Ontario, which is like <laughs> near Niagara Falls. And it yeah. was actually snowing. And That's so they so kind of just seeing the way that they do things behind the scenes and the way it turns out when it actually comes out on the other side is so incredible. And Yeah, um, it's crazy, too, because Good Girl is supposed to be in Michigan, but like it's filmed here in L.A. So like it's not going to snow in any of the scenes. Right. You know? Kind of funny how it works out. I do want to ask you, my goal with the show is to let people know that you can chase your dream and you can achieve the things that you want to achieve. Is there a message or any advice or just anything that you would like to say to the dreamers out there that may enjoy your work? I enjoyed your work before I even thought about interviewing you. I watched the show. It was fantastic. Thank you. Um, yeah, I would just say, you know, like not to give up because I feel like it's really easy to get discouraged, like especially when you're auditioning a lot. Because yeah. like I auditioned for years before I even really got anything. And it's so easy to be like, ah, oh, like I'm just bad or something or they don't like me. But you know, you could not get a role for like so many reasons, like you're too short, you're too tall, or like you seem younger or older, or you don't match like the a different version of the same character that they already cast or something like that. You know, there's so many reasons, but like just to like not let that, not take it personally, not like feel discouraged from that. And, you know, just to keep going because there's something out there that's just going to fit just perfectly with you. Right. Awesome. Well, that, that was awesome. Um, and the last, last thing I do is give you the floor. Is there any anything that you want to promote? Any projects you have on the go? Um, I'm not really working on any projects right now, but I would say... Um, if you're 18 or older, please vote for Senator because that's coming up and it's really important, especially in Georgia and yeah, just go vote. Yeah. That's the, so you're, you're, you're talking about Georgia, right? Are you in Georgia? I'm not in Georgia right now, but, um, that's an important state to yeah. get and, you know, it's important to not forget about voting for your senators too, because I'm going to say, yeah. I agree with that. I'm in Canada, which means I have no idea what any of that means, but uh, I agree. It's very chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> For You're sure. Like to be away from all of it. Yeah, but um, I, I really enjoyed talking to you and I appreciate you coming on the show and I wish you continued success with Good Girls and I personally cannot wait to see what's coming. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for having me, dude.